this bridge that I snuck in under last night, I missed it by <laughs> probably less than a foot. And it's been raining, and I sure hope, I sure hope it fits on the way back out. <laughs> we'll see how it goes here. And here we go. I pulled my poles down. Yeah, it'll make it. So, I'm going to point this out really quick. Little trailerable houseboat. Don't see a lot of them. Um, it's got, it's a quad tune. And uh, I know Eric on the fin, you'll see him in the comment section. And he's got a, he's got a video series. He was one of the originals uh, doing a shanty boat trip. Definitely should check him out if you haven't found him. He's building a quad tune right now. It's going to be a lot bigger and wider than this one, but uh, this one looks derelict. It looks like it was almost, I mean, the door's open and covers off the engine. And I wonder if someone could find this one and come bring it back. Yeah, this, this is for Eric. So... Looks like they have some, like, two pontoon add-ons in the middle. Give it more buoyancy. Good idea. Hey, guys and gals. I just want to show you this real quick. So, I met up with a, a fellow named Matt who found my channel and was just happened to be passing by here in Tennessee where, where I was passing. It just worked out perfectly so he has a camper van he parked here last night I really don't like sticking cameras in people's faces and you know that's why I'm not why I'm telling you about it as opposed to kind of showing you but uh, I might have a little you know snippet from when we had a fire going last night to show you but um, but yeah we found this cool little spot uh, on, a, on a little shoot off the river and he parked right there and I got to stick my boat right there so it was like two worlds meeting, you know, two adventures crossing. Um, we had a fire there last night before it started raining. and But uh, what I want to show you here is, like, this is so disappointing, and that, I think that's the word for it, is how people trash, you know, everything. That bag is full of trash. I'm taking the time, a few minutes, to just clean up some of the trash around here. But it's, you know, I don't know why people do this. They just leave, you know, tires, and I'm not saying I haven't thrown trash in my day. I think before I knew better, but, you know, it's like, it's just disappointing. We've got this, we just got this beautiful country, and all this free camping, and, and, uh, I think we could do better, so. I don't know. Any of you guys think like that too? It's just sad. I'm gonna take a few more minutes here in the rain, clean up a little more trash, shut the bag out by the road. Hopefully someone will just grab the bag because uh, I don't really have the, I suppose I could go find a dumpster. If it wasn't raining, I probably would just do the last step, but I'll hope that I've made it convenient enough for somebody to just grab the bag and go put it in a trash. So, And then I'm gonna get on the river. So catch up with you soon. Okay guys, I want to do a little uh, tutorial on changing your oil while the boat is in the water. I've given this a lot of thought and it's a little tricky on a boat like this shanty boat because um, the motor 
sits pretty low in the water. Like, even when I have it fully tilted up, it still has the lower unit in the water. Um, and the drain plug for the oil on this particular motor, which is a 2004 Yamaha 60 four-stroke, um, is just barely above the water line. In fact, if, if I have a full load of fuel, if the tanks are full, it's uh, right at the water line. So what I've done is I'm going to show you what I've done. So it's kind of a chilly day. I'm paying the price for this, but it's okay. The It's actually not as cold as it looks. I have found a, a spot to beach it where I can walk out to the backside in the water, to the back of the boat. Um, it's probably like three, four feet. And while still having the, the, the motor down, and I'm going to drain the oil into that um, recycled, uh, <clears throat> you know, one gallon jug that I picked up at a trash can like a few days ago. And I'm going to drain the oil, and then I'm going to replace it. So this is the only way I can think about, you know, think how to do this without um, pulling the boat out of the water. And obviously I don't have that option or, you know, you, no one would unless you want to pay a marina to use a travel lift just to change oil. So we'll see how this goes. I'll try to chronicle it as best I can here and, and maybe this will work. Okay, so I'm in the water. I'm walking around to the back side of the boat and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So, I've got my wrench, I've got my tub. Now, you can see that this right here is my drain plug. Um, it's just barely above the water line. And I have to have the motor tilted up a little bit to do that. So, I'm going to have to stick the, the catch in the water a little bit. I think I've thought this through enough that I can do this. Um, get the 2.6 quarts of oil out and then put that drain plug back in. I'm doing my best to not get any, any oil in the water. So I think this is going to work. We'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so I was able to drain the oil with, so there it is right there. It worked for the most part. Um, as I was getting the drain plug out, what I did is I just let the drain plug and the uh, and the socket extension um, fall into the oil because if I was you know I've only got two hands like everybody so um, and and then I got some oil on my hands and so a little bit got in the water uh, made a little rainbow of color. This is actually not what it did. This is always in the water. But it's already dissipated, but it doesn't take much. I mean, just a few drops of oil will like make it look like you just did a Valdez oil slick or something. And so, depending on how sensitive you are to such things, um, I would say don't worry about it. Um, a lot worse things get into the water and a lot bigger quantities. But, you know, just do your best. You know, take all the precautions, think it through, make everybody happy, you know, protect the environment as best you can. This is my little speech on it. Um, it just worked for me. So now I'm going to, now I'm going to replace the oil. I'm going to be very careful with that. I brought, you know, I planned ahead, have the right funnel, things like that. So I will get that done. Okay guys. So once you put the new oil in, um, I did not change the filter this time. I don't have one, so it's just going to have to go for two cycles, but it'll be okay. Um, let it run for a bit and then check the level. Just let it cycle through the motor, so that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so the last step is put the oil in something, like I transferred it from that to a gallon jug that I saved. Um, and then I'm gonna wrap it all in some plastic bags and then I'm going to recycle it the first chance I get. So, that's how you do an oil change while your boat's in the water.